Hi guys, so for this video I'm using yarn in size 4 medium and a crochet hook in size 5 millimeters. So I'll start by making a slip knot and then I'll chain 121. So now that I chained 121, on the fifth chain from the hook, I'll make one double crochet. I will chain one, this is row one. So I'll chain one, I'll skip one chain and through a second chain, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, skip one chain and through a second chain, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, skip one chain and through a second chain, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, skip one chain and through a second chain, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, I'll skip one chain and through a second chain, I'll make one double crochet. So I'll repeat this throughout row one. So this completes row one. Now for row two, I'll turn my work around, then I'll chain four, then through this next double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet. I'll chain one, through this next double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, through the next double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, through the next double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, through the next double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, through the next double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one, through the next double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet. Chain one. Through the next double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet. So I'll repeat this throughout row two. So now to finish row two, I'll chain one. Then here, remember in the previous row where we chained four for our turning chain. So we'll skip the first chain and through the second chain, I'll make one double crochet. Now I'll chain one, then I'll cut this yarn. So this completes row two. Now for row three, I'll use yarn in different color. Then I'll turn my work around. Now right here through this first double crochet chain, I insert my hook. Then I insert my hook through a slip knot loop and pull through. Now I'll chain one, then through that same chain, I'll make one single crochet. Then I'll chain 20. Now right here through this next double crochet chain, I'll make one single crochet. Again, I'll chain 20. Then through the next double crochet chain, I'll make one single crochet. Again, I'll chain 20. Then through the next double crochet chain, I'll make one single crochet. Chain 20. Now through the next double crochet chain, I'll make one single crochet. So I'll repeat this throughout row three. Now to finish row three, I will chain 20. And right here through this third turning chain, I'll make one single crochet. 
through the same chain I'll make a slip stitch then I'll chain one and I'll cut this yarn so this completes row three now for row four I'll use yarn in different color then I'll turn my work around now right here through this first 20 chain loop I'll insert my hook then I insert my hook through a slip knot loop and pull through and this is row four now I'll chain four then through his next 20 chain loop I'll make one double crochet I'll chain one through the next 20 chain loop I'll make one double crochet chain one through the next 20 chain loop I'll make one double crochet chain one through his next 20 chain loop I'll make one double crochet chain one through the next 20 chain loop I'll make one double crochet chain one through the next 20 chain loop I'll make one double crochet chain one through the next 20 chain loop I'll make one double crochet so I'll repeat this throughout row four so this completes row four now for row five I'll turn my work around then I'll chain four now through the next double crochet chain I'll make one double crochet chain one through the next double crochet chain I'll make one double crochet chain one through the next double crochet chain I'll make one double crochet chain one through the next double crochet chain I'll make one double crochet chain one through the next double crochet chain I'll make one double crochet chain one through the next double crochet chain I'll make one double crochet chain one through the next double crochet chain I'll make one double crochet chain one through the next double crochet chain I'll make one double crochet so I'll repeat this throughout row five now for the pattern we need to repeat rows three through five so we repeat this until we have 11 rows in total by now our work should be 10 inches long and uh, 36 inches wide and now we'll fold our work in half I'll do this from the wrong side now we'll join these two sides together with the yarn needle So I'm just joining these two sides where this pink yarn is, not where the blue yarn is.
So it's 10 inches long and 17 inches wide. So now right here through this chain I insert my hook then I insert my hook through a slip knot loop and pull through. Now I'll chain three. Through this next double crochet chain I'll make one double crochet. Through the next one chain loop I'll make one double crochet. Through the next double crochet chain I'll make one double crochet. Through this next one chain loop I'll make one double crochet. Through the next double crochet chain I'll make one double crochet. Through this next one chain loop one double crochet. Through the next double crochet chain one double crochet. We'll repeat this until we have 32 double crochets in total. This is the first row for the hat part. So we have 32 double crochets. Now I'll chain 28. So now that I've chained 28, right here through this third chain that I've made in the beginning of this row, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes the first row for the hat. Now I'll chain three, then through the next double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet. Through the next chain, one double crochet. Through the next chain, one double crochet through the next chain one double crochet. So I'll continue making one double crochet through each chain throughout row two. So even when we reach this uh, 28 chains, even there we'll make one double crochet through each chain. So now that I've reached these 28 chains, I'll make one double crochet through each chain. So this is our second row of the hat. Now to finish the second row, right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes the second row of the hat. Now for row three, I'll chain three, then right there through the next double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet. Through the next chain, I'll make one double crochet. Through the next chain, one double crochet. Through the next chain, one double crochet. Through the next chain, one double crochet. So I'll continue making one double crochet through each chain throughout row three. And when we reach the end of row three, we'll join by making a slip stitch right here through this third chain. So we repeat row three until we have six rows in total. Now for row seven, I'll chain three. Now we need to make eight double crochets. This three chain already counts as one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then and then we'll decrease in chains 9 and 10. 
through the next eight chains, I'll make one double crochet through each chain. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we'll decrease in chains nine and ten. So we repeat this throughout row 7. We'll decrease in chains 9 and 10. Now to finish row 7, right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 7. Now for row 8, I'll chain 3. Now we need to make 7 double crochets. This 3 chain already counts as 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six, seven. Now I'll decrease in chains eight and nine. Through the next seven chains, I'll make one double crochet through each chain. And then I'll decrease in chains 8 and 9. So I'll repeat this throughout row 8. I'll decrease in chains 8 and 9. Now to finish row 8, right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 8. Now for row 9, I'll chain 3. Now we need to make six double crochets. This three chain already counts as one. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And I'll decrease in chains seven and eight. For the next six chains, I'll make one double crochet through each chain. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'll decrease in chains seven and eight. So I'll repeat this throughout row nine. I'll decrease in chains seven and eight. Now to finish row nine, right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 9. Now for row 10, I'll chain 3. I need to make 5 double crochets. 1 double crochet through each chain. So this 3 chain already counts as 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Then I'll decrease in chains 6 and 7. Through the next five chains, I'll make one double crochet through each chain. So one, two, three, four, and five. Now decrease in chains six and seven. So I'll repeat this throughout row 10. I'll decrease through chains six and seven. So now to finish row 10, right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 10. Now for row 11, I'll chain 3. Now I need to make 4 double crochets through these 4 chains. Now this 3 chain already counts as 1. So 1, 2, 3, and 4. And I'll decrease in chains 5 and 6. Through the next four chains, I'll make one double crochet through each chain. One, two, three, and four. And I'll decrease through chains five and six. So I'll repeat this throughout row 11. I'll decrease through chains five and six. So now to finish row 11, right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. 
So this completes row 11. Now for row 12, I'll chain 3. Now through these three chains, I need to make one double crochet through each chain. This three chain already counts as one, so one, two, and three. Then I'll decrease through chains four and five. Through the next three chains, I'll make one double crochet through each chain. So one, two, and three. And then I'll decrease through chains four and five. So I'll repeat this throughout row 12 and I'll decrease through chains 4 and 5. To finish row 12, right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 12. Now for row 13, I'll chain 3, then through the next double crochet chain, I'll make one double crochet. Through these next two chains, I'll decrease. Through the next two chains, I'll make one double crochet through each chain. Through the next two chains, I'll decrease. So I'll repeat this throughout row 13. I'll decrease through chains 3 and 4. So now to finish row 13, right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. And now for row 14, I'll chain one. Now through these next two chains, I'll decrease with a half double crochet. Through the next two chains, I'll decrease with half double crochets. Through the next two chains, I'll decrease with a half double crochets. Through the next two chains, I'll decrease. 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 Then through the last chain, I will just make one half double crochet. Now to finish row 14, right here through this first half double crochet chain, I'll make a slip stitch. Now I'll chain one and leave a medium sized tail. And now I'll close this loop. So this hat is uh, on 8 inches long and it's um, almost 10 inches wide. So this is all for today guys. I hope you like this video and thank you so much for watching.